Hello guys, welcome back, I'm Julian, I'm here to do my reaction video for Season 1, Episode 5 of Dawson's Creek. This time, the title of the episode is Hurricane, and I hope that I'm pronouncing that right. If I'm not, then I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, but anyway, so we are here for Episode uh, 5. Uh, it has been a while. If you haven't, if you don't know why is it that there has been such a big break, it's because... Uh, couple weeks ago I got COVID and I had to you know rest because otherwise I would have been dead uh, because I was really sick I was with like really high fever and like every symptom you know about COVID I had it uh, but luckily I'm here I'm a little bit still a little bit tired you know but I'm trying to you know put through and like just you know get excited because I'm also like extremely bored like, I was so bored because I was, like, in my room, isolated from everyone for two weeks almost. So, you know, I, I needed this. I needed uh, my place to kind of, like, do my thing, you know. So, yeah, I'm here and I'm ready to do my reaction video for episode five. I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you guys continue supporting for more. Please don't forget to give this video... A big thumbs up if you love Dawson's Creek. Subscribe, comment, hit the notification bell. You can go to Patreon and watch the full uncut extended version for this reaction and so much more. So in case you guys want to do that, link as always will be in the description down below. I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you guys like it. Uh, continue supporting for more. And for now, without, without further ado, let's just begin with Season 1, Episode 5 of Dawson's Creek. Here we go. <laughs> Oh. Well, oh, there's going to be Twister. What's a next? Hurricane. School cancellation. Local officials have gone ahead and canceled classes for tomorrow in Yarmouth, North Falmouth, and Cape Side. <laughs> 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 of ah. course, like the minute like even if there is like a uh, a hurricane or whatever it is. When they cancel classes, it's a good day. You know, you're gonna have to deal with this, Dawson. Uh, everything's postponed because of the hurricane. My life included. Your life is a hurricane. No metaphors, Joe. It's too uh, late. Not so much. I mean, it's not... Well, yeah, Later. but not, not that much. I'll see you tomorrow, Julie. I mean, here in my country, we do not have hurricanes. We have earthquakes. Floods. But not hard. My dad's a great guy, isn't he? <laughs> Maybe on the Tom Hanks, Harrison Ford idealistic side, but solid like a rock. Without question. And faithful. Unlike you, bitch. <laughs> Even to a fault. Answer me this. Why did you choose a profession that requires you to dress like one of the village people? <laughs> I chose to wear a badge because our father, the chief of police of Cape Side, instilled in me a sense of duty and a belief in justice. Right, which makes it all the harder for you to come out. I understand. <laughs> you know, I'm sure that their support group... I love that he's annoying his brother, you know? This is what we do, right? Hey, officers. Listen, PC, I'm not gay. Just a warning, these things never come this far north. Well, I vote we go to Dawson's. Hey, actually, that's not a bad idea. Don't change the subject. This kid is being circumcised. No, he's not. What? Just because you're pregnant, don't think you're gonna get the last word on this. Watch me. Yeah, watch me. He's the one carrying the child, so... Well, not that every decision has to be made by the mother. Granted, it has to be a discussion, but... Well, I, I wouldn't know how it works the other way. I am the one who makes the decision for my son. I can call you uh, Miss Jacobs would be fine. <laughs> or tomorrow, whatever you like. Don't start tomorrow? flirting with him as well. Oh my I'm god. Sorry. I hate storms. I, I, I really don't do well at all in bad weather. Well, we'll have to do something about that. Oh my god. Well, you are <laughs> age appropriate. <laughs> Look at Pacey. <laughs> Pacey, stop it. <laughs> um, I'll call you back. Got a new award for you, Mom. It's not a trophy, though. It comes in the form of an A. And you have to stitch it right here. What? Congratulations. Shit. Well, it's a shitty thing, you know, what she's doing. I love your father. It doesn't seem now, like I know it. that might seem a little hypocritical at the moment. There are reasons. reasons. What? Bob reasons? Order, really? Maybe? Maybe it's not just Bob. Maybe it extends to the whole 6 and 11 action news teams. 
Oh, Your shit. mother is a good woman. <laughs> maybe I, I'm thinking that maybe has to do with the fact that she's not being taken serious and she wants to get, you know, something like if you sleep around, then you might get, you know, a new segment or something like that. Maybe it has to do with harassment. Uh, not that it's okay to do what she's doing, but like she did say, well, I don't know, but like, Tender. right? Boy, that makes sense. Could be. Excuse me? Wait. You heard me? Six and eleven action news teams. Your mother is a good woman. <laughs> yeah, you defend her. You would. It makes sense. Oh, fuck off! Excuse me? You heard me? Yeah, I did. And you better clarify yourself right now before I rip your head off. I'm simply remarking who better to understand a woman's need to have multiple partners? Oh, Being that fuck! I've slept with half fuck! Fuck you! Fuck you! The, the, uh, you know, it doesn't. The world might seem like it's, you know, it goes around you, but like it really doesn't, okay? You have no right to say that to her. Fuck off. He's. He's such an idiot. Of New York City. I didn't say that. We're not all as pious as you, Dawson. Some of us aren't imaginary characters in a Spielberg film. Some of us live in reality. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and he feels like, oh my god, this is happening to me. It's all perception, Dawson. You know what? Let let him just deal with whatever it is that he has to deal with on his own. Like he has so many people trying to be there for him, and he's just being an ass. So let's just like the one ounce of wisdom I can bring to this table. Thank God that you have a mother. Get back into reality. Sorry, kind Dawson, of thing. I forgot for a second. This isn't about me. No, it's never about anyone else other than him. Even with that, I bet that Dawson is thinking, why is this happening to me? <laughs> why did this conversation of her reminding me that she doesn't have a mom happening to me? <laughs> I've been very selfish. Seems to run in your family. <laughs> Tea. <laughs> every time that I've come home late, every time that I've made an excuse to leave this house, shit. Every time that... I haven't been with you. I have been with someone else. Another man. Shit. Ha having sex with another man. Shit. I knew I should have gotten some more batteries. Dawson. Mitch. Okay, denial. Uh, Dawson. Talk to me. I had it in my hands and now it's disappeared. Where is it? Where'd it go? Oh. Don't you cry. Oh, okay, don't be dramatic. It's a harsh and barbaric example of child abuse. We don't even I know if it's so gonna be too. a girl or boy. Or black or white. Oh fuck off! Ooh, she's off and running. Bodie, don't yeah. judgment. Bodie, just an observation. Which and what? More, Mrs. Ryan? And what? If what is it if if the like what is the entire point of your of this comment? Like whether if the baby's black or white or what? Like what, what? How do you make that cut? Oh my god! That when I that way when I slapped that woman. You know, taking into consideration his high weight, feet, and hand size, and I see slightly above average. <laughs> oh, so you have that about it. <laughs> I mean, why not, right? I like this type of friendship between them. I really like it. Listen, tomorrow, would you like to go out with me sometime, you know, maybe catch a movie? Mm -hmm. The Rialto's got this whole oldies classics thing on Wednesday nights. They play a lot of the old MGM musicals. It's really great. Sure, I'd love to. Really? Yeah. Great, okay. We'll make a whole night of it. You know, nice romance. You're about to go on a date with the brother of the kid you're hooking up with? Tamara, the way I despise this woman. <laughs> no, no, it's not that at all. It's just that I know that you're... Gay. Gay. <laughs> what? <laughs> Did you tell her I'm gay? <laughs> no, I guessed it. <laughs> when, when I lived in New York, I lived on Christopher Street. I have good gay dog. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> you told her, didn't you? <laughs> tell her I'm not gay. She has gay. <laughs> Tomorrow, I am not 
gay. It's okay to be gay. That's exactly. <laughs> Pacey's such a annoying little brother, right? I love you. I've been trying to tell him tomorrow. <laughs> All right, you tell. Him. Oh my right God! Now, I am not gay. Guys. Okay, guys, okay, hey. okay, okay, gay, okay, gay. Okay. It's okay tomorrow. He does this kind of stuff all the time. Honestly. Tell her. Do you know why? I don't think it's ever okay to pull up your gun. I understand that Pacey has been a naughty boy right now, but you don't have to do this, okay? All right, then. So, whose turn is it? Honestly, you think that she want to date you after what you just did? It's a red flag. He got upset and he pulled out the gun, like... No, bitch, don't. No, it's no. already done, just like that. It's not that simple, you know? Maybe falling in love, yes. I understand that he's mad right so now. I suggest you get out of the car <laughs> before I physically remove you from it. Okay, no need to physically threat her, but understandable why he might feel that she he hates her right now. Completely understandable. I'm leaving Dawson. Um, but before I go there, okay, things, I've no, and... no, hear me out, Dawson, please. Okay, because this seems to be the day of truth. I'm taking my turn. You are an ass. I lost my virginity. You know, you, he when doesn't... I was 12 to some older guy who got... You, d like, he doesn't deserve to know your life. The fact that he's making you feel bad about it? Red flag. Me drunk. Dawson, I'm not that girl anymore. I you never know what? really was. And I'm I'm not that white as snow image you've got either. I'm somewhere in between and I'm I'm just I'm just I hate that she tries to prove herself to this asshole, you know? This is your life and like like it sounds terrible from the get go, you know, that someone got you drunk and like that happened at twelve years old and like all of that it just sounds awful. Okay? And, like, the fact that this is somehow making it, like, for you to have an excuse to say, oh, okay, she didn't actually meant it, and she, if she could have saved herself, like, even if she wanted to still sleep around, that will be her own deal, you know? Okay, I, I, I just want to say I love her. I know that now. You're so stupid. I just want to say I'm so sorry. You, you don't I own this to anyone. To no, I'm you can't. From it. I'm a better person. It's, it's gotten me here. Yeah. I'm getting sloppy, Pacey. You know we're gonna have to end this. It's getting too dangerous. Keep saying that, but yet you don't need that. Isn't turn off. Pacey. Wait, I, she can go to jail because of that. Question. Well, you know what? I'm glad that at least right now she's being honest, you know? It took her a while, but... I was hoping you'd still be here. Sheriff Brody, that's a 20-footer. <laughs> it's a really good friendship, right? Beating. Gotta get a shot at this organ's head. Smile, you son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna need a bigger boat. <laughs> That's cute. Okay, guys, so that was the end of Season 1, Episode 5 of Dawson's Creek. And yes. That was a really good episode, um, especially, and you know what, I really hope that what Jen said about her life back in New York, you know, and what happened and the reasons why she is here, um, I really dealt with because that was some heavy shit that she said, you know, uh, and I, I honestly, I wish that Dawson hadn't make her feel so bad about having a past, you know, a sex life be like before him that she had to just, you know, tell him every single thing. In the other hand, it feels that she needed to say this to someone that cares about her. And we do know that with his flaws, Dustin does care about Jen. But that was some very heavy things that she said, you know? M like, some of the things that she said might even sound like like the sex wasn't even consensual. You know, it's, she's uh, 12 years old with an older guy. Honestly, we're seeing Pacey and Tamara, and I feel sick about it, you know? And, like, just imagine, imagining that, it just, like... 
it just makes me want to protect the character of Jen even more, you know? Uh, because so far, I, I really love Pacey and Joey, though they are my favorite characters. But Jen on this episode just, like, stole my heart. Honestly, with her, with her honesty, with uh, the fact that, you know, the things that she has done in the past, she believes that there are mistakes and that she wants to start over. Like, I am all behind the idea of her to be, you know, to do this once again and to have a different life and to be perceived of something else or for her to even really feel good about herself you know I am up for that you know I hate the fact that is that because her dad sent her away because she was caught having sex in in her parents bed and like you know all of this uh, she was drinking too much and all of these things honestly it's she's so brave and she's so strong for you know saying you know what I have hit rock bottom and I need to go out I get out of it and I need to do better for myself you know and that is just incredibly strong for her to do you know and it just tells you how you know emotionally mature Jen is unlike Dawson who is like he is like he's the epitome right is how you say it of the single child honestly because he is so self-absorbed he is like like the hurricane in this episode that was happening to the entire town, he believed it was happening just to him. You know, that's I feel that's how self-absorbed he is. And he's always lashing out every single time anything happens. Everything is, it, it always feels to him like, it's everyone's fault and they are all doing this to ruin my life. It's all about him. He doesn't seem to think, you know... Uh, uh, further, further than that. He's just like too caught up in his movies, too caught up in the characters that he builds in his head, and that's it. He doesn't like get to live and get to understand that other people have issues as well, and that there's some things that are not directly, you know, um, um, affecting him, and they shouldn't affect him because it's not his. Pro- I hate the fact that he made. He made Jen feel so bad that she needed to tell him this. I wish that she could be able to just tell him these things, but in a different context, you know, not because she's like, I want your approval because it it made me feel like that, you know, and it makes me not like the character of Dawson that much because of it, you know, I just hate that he was behaving in that way. I understand that in that moment his parents' relationship is breaking down and look, you know, I I get it. You know, you feel bad. You you but like lashing out to the people that love him. Honestly, he's so lucky to have so many people around him that want to cheer him on on, they want to be there for him. And he like the only thing he does is to just lash out in every single person because they should be here for him, you know? And it's just like how self-absorbed can you be? And like the answer is like a lot. <laughs> Honestly. And like like I say, I understand him feeling like crab, you know, because his parents are fighting. But he didn't have to lash out onto Joey and not onto Jen, you know. It was just terrible that he did that. It made me feel awful that Jen had to, you know, just confess all of these things. Uh, like, you know, she's the one who needed this forgiveness from him when that's not the reality, you know. Um, I didn't like how he treated Joey as well, you know. And Joey, and both Joey and Jen on this episode, they kind of were like keeping it real, honey. There are real life issues, you know, and you are. It happens that you are going through a very big issue with your parents. Yes, granted, but everyone else is is going through something as well. And they we are not lashing out on the people that we love, you know. So it, it was good that they were kind of like giving him a reality check. But like he shouldn't even need that, you know. But anyways, um. Yeah, then we have in the other side of the story, we have Pacey and Tamara that I just want this entire thing to be over already because I don't like Tamara. Okay, I I understand Pacey, uh, you know, being (laughs) 
re being really naughty on this episode and like saying that her his brother is gay and blah 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 look your brothers your siblings like things like this will happen and like i don't take any offense on it and, uh, like he was just trying to provoke his brother but like the brother is very violent and it doesn't seem like this is the first time that pacey has been threatened with a gun to his face okay which is scares the hell out of me okay and the the the, the guy was so quick on to like pull the gun into his face like it was awful it was awful and like the fact is that it's a big like if i see someone behaving like that like if you make jokes about it like even like what joy like pacey was doing like making jokes about it if he's gay or not i can understand that it's like brotherly and like you know behavior i will understand that but pointing at gun a real gun at your brother like, that is a big red flag. You know, he was pissed and he took out the gun and put it in front of him. And, like, I, I, I'm, that's, I'm not, that's not an acceptable thing to do. And, like, it really scares me. And if, if Tamar wasn't even dating or whatever it is that she's dating with, with da doing with Pacey, um, I wouldn't be like, girl, like, walk away from this guy. He is, like... It seems like he's an abuser and, like, will become an abuser once he marries someone. And, like, the minute something doesn't go out his way, he's gonna do something violent. Honestly, big red flag, you know? Didn't like that. Uh, but at the same time, I do not like the relationship between Tamara and Pacey. I just think it's going to end up with Pacey feeling hurt. And I understand that he is... He wants this relationship, you know? It's, you know, legally... It's Ill legally, it's illegal, you, you know, it's illegal what they're doing. I understand that, you know, there is not so much about whether if Pacey is consenting to this because he's looking into this, like he wants this to happen. Uh, but it like it, it's illegal because there, there is that age difference this is the fact that she's the teacher. There's this power struggle there you know and it shouldn't happen and it's just so disgusting and i don't like it and i hope that i really hope that she does go to uh, uh to jail honestly because she is just awful awful but it's going to break jo uh, uh pacey's heart and i i hate that you know um anyways the episode was really good I really liked it. I really enjoyed it. The whole thing about the mom, you know, I really thought it would, she was going to end up saying, hey, I wanted to advance in my career and that's why I was sleeping around. But at the end of the day, she was like, I have a perfect life. So I decided to fuck that up, <laughs> you know, because I, need, I, I, I wanted to want something. I like the fact that she was honest, granted, after two months, 62 days finally be honest but now she's leave, left with what she wanted you know which is like she wanted to be um uh she wanted some type of mess in her life you know and she wanted to want this relationship when she already had it you know so it makes absolutely no sense but at the same time it makes sense why she will fucked it up you know which is weird but like i kind of understand her D don't support or condone what she has done but this will the guy mitch forgive her or not i don't know but um it's just crazy you know and it, it was like you can like when you see them talk you can actually see oh this is where dawson gets all the dramatic thing you know because the parents are extremely dramatic as well <laughs> uh but we'll see we'll see what, what happens there i guess anyways that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys liked my reaction. So please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. If you love Dawson's Creek, subscribe, comment, hit the notification bell, and you can go to Patreon right now and watch the full uncut extended version for this reaction and so much more. So in case you guys want to do that, link as always will be in the description down below. And for now, that's about it. Thank you so much guys for watching. I will see you guys next time for more reaction videos for Dawson's Creek. That's it. Bye guys. Bye.